One more, I think, really essential kind of area in Adobe Illustrator or in Photoshop or in InDesign or whatever is the setup of the workspace itself. Now, I mentioned that we do have workspaces from our friends at Adobe right up here. We have Essentials, and that's where we are right now. You have Painting if you want to do that, you know, and it opens up all the things that Adobe feels are the best things that you need to get the job done in terms of painting. Let's go back to Essentials just for a second. Let's say that we like what's over here, and I'm going to open it up too. I don't like it collapsed. There are things in here that we don't really need. We like them, but we just don't use them that often, and they're just getting in the way of us being efficient. So let's just pretend here. Let's come down here. We have layers and artboards. And let's say artboards is just not something we use a lot. So it's just taking up space. So we drag it. This is one thing you could do. I'm going to grab it right on the tab and drag it out. Now to get rid of it, be easy. Just click here. And that's one less thing for us to worry about. Let's say that we don't work with the cooler. And that's a color system. Actually, it's pretty cool. But for essentials, we really don't need that either. So we'll get rid of that one. And the color guide, nah, don't want that either. So I'm going to drag that out. Right now I'm kind of just getting rid of things. And you say, well, okay, um, why don't we move color someplace else? So I'm going to pull it out first. Now it's a free floating panel. If you want it there in your workspace, go for it. But I want to put it maybe in with these. So what I'm going to do is grab it again and drag it until I see this area right here go transparent blue and let go. And now I have all of those up here. And let's say, since layers is way down here by itself again and nice and lonely, why don't we stick that up here just like that? So we can change the furniture in the room and we're getting, well, we're getting it set up the way we want it to be. But maybe there's a panel that I don't see that I want because, I mean, I've gotten rid of some. How about adding some? If you go up to the word window on the pull down menu, you will notice every single panel that's possible right up here. So let's say, well, I use a line a lot and I want the align panel or brushes or whatever, something we don't have. So if we go to a line right here, it'll open it up and there it is. Now it also comes with transform and with pathfinder. I love pathfinder. Let's say we like all of those or maybe we don't want all of them or maybe we want to do this. Let me drag Pathfinder out and let me drag a line out. Now that creates a lot of space. I understand that are a lot of lost real estate, if you will. I can move them around. I can put them back in if I want to. But let's say I work with Transform in a line a lot and I don't want to keep tabbing between one or the other or one or the other. I don't want Pathfinder right now, so I'm going to turn that off. If I grab the Align tab and bring it up here, I'm putting it back inside which is fine. Well, let me pull it back out again, if I can do it. Oh, incidentally, as you just saw, if you double click, it collapses it. Now I'm going to grab it again, but this time I'm going to put it under here and I'm going to push up until I see it go semi-transparent and get that blue line. And now they are in a sense grouped together. And let's say I want to leave these floating, but I want to put them over here. Now I'm going to show you something else that I have to do because of the resolution I'm working in you will notice that my toolbar is double. Okay, the reason is, is because the resolution I'm working in is too short going this way. But if I click here, I can put them all in a single row. Now it gives me more room, but I lose some of my tools down here because of my resolution. So I'm going to take that back by clicking here. So I've got this stuff over here. I've rearranged the furniture over here, so to speak. And I like this and I want to keep it. But I am still, by definition, in Essentials, a modified Essentials. That's not what I want. So if I click here, one of my options is New Workspace. Now you can also get that under the word Window. If I go New Workspace and call it Andy Space and click OK, I now have Andy Space. You will notice if I go back to Essentials, it doesn't really change. And the reason is, is because I modified it and it thinks I might want to use it again as essentials. But if I click reset essentials, it will go back to what Adobe thinks is essentials. If I now go back up here again, there's Andy space at the top. You can have as many of these as you want. And it goes back now into Andy's space. Now, anytime you want to control them, again, let's do it from the window this time. 
go to Window and go down to Workspace, and there it is. But there's also Reset, New, and Manage. Now, if you go into Manage Workspaces, this one right here is the one I made. And you say, you know what? I was just kind of playing around. I really don't like it. I don't want to rename it. I want to get rid of it. And you click here, and of course, it'll warn you. And you say, yeah, I don't want it anymore. It's still here, though. Understand it's still there. And then you click OK, and then it's gone. So you have the ability to create your own work spaces. And don't take that lightly. Really don't. Think it through and look at how you work. Look at your workflow. Look at the panels and things that you use and set the system up to work for you and not the other way around. We're not working for Illustrator. Illustrator is working for us.